Wildwood, right here. All right, so the Wildwood 32 BHDS. So basically, we're gonna be looking at a bunkhouse model. Okay, bunkhouse meaning um, it does have the bunks back in the back. Okay, uh, used for uh, families. Um, it does have three bunks back there. Has a little bit extra room if you want to do like uh, you know blow a mattress if you want an extra bed or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, outside kitchen on this guy as well. Um, back here on the back side. Um, questions all the time about what all is in the outside kitchen, guys. Obviously, we have the sink in the outside kitchen. Uh, as well as the uh, swing around bumper grill too, okay? And so um, in terms of other things, um, obviously power stabilizer jacks, okay? It's huge, you know, um, a lot of our competitors and things like that don't have the power stabilizer jacks because it's a limited, um, I guess, option out there, right? Okay. That's something that we do. Our prices don't go sky high or anything like that. We charge factory cost for us to put it on there. So really cool little setup in terms of how we do business versus how others may do business. but. Um, kind of a cool deal. You got a 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator right there beside you instead of the real small 1.6 one. ones, um, as well as beverage holder on the side of it um, as yep. your uh, cool little setup there. And then obviously, I mean, we talked last time, you, I mean, you love the bathroom and door <laughs> I, straight I to love, it. I love the screen door on the bathroom. <laughs> 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 Just in case you need a little a privacy. A little bit of privacy if you pull this shut. <laughs> Still don't feel like that's enough <laughs> privacy, but. But obviously, if someone needs to go to the bathroom, they can walk directly in there. A lot of people are looking for this particular camper uh, because of the two-door entry. They don't want their kids running through their camper. Um, they don't want the uh, you know family members running through the camper. Just go to the bathroom, come back out. Yeah. It's really important. Like I know a lot of places got swimming pools and stuff like that. You don't want the little kids running through. I mean, I got two of my own, right? Uh -huh. um, you don't want them running through the whole camper to go to the bathroom. Soaking the floor. Soaking the floor along the whole way, plus right. all of the sand on their feet and then running all the way back out yeah. as they get there. So that's that might cool be setup to it. the most brilliant idea, you know. Yeah, in case you need a little bit more air in there yeah. while you're taking care of business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously. <laughs> 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 uh, but on the outside, guys, outside speakers, um, you do have the solid surface steps. We talked about the power stabilizer jacks. Um, this is nobody's suite. This is a really big storage area. Um, enough with the mother-in-law jokes, not funny. And then up front here, we obviously have the power tongue jack. Option to go to 30-pound tanks up here with the fiberglass front cap and the three-force rock guard. So cool little setup on this yeah. one as well. Um, but swinging inside real quick, because um, obviously that's why we're here. See the inside of the camper. Oh, the lights are off. Little push buttons to turn the lights on, half all the way through the um, coach. All right, so uh, as you're going through the coach, guys, um, you can either do it that way or there is a switch up front that does turn them all off or all on. Okay, okay so kind of cool. Um, in terms of refrigerator, you do have the big 12 volt refrigerator. Okay, um, not all campers have that. Palomino and Wildwood are some of the main ones that do have that kind of camper um, uh, refrigerator. Plus you do have storage. Okay, our wonderful plant that has seemed to get into every single video at this point. <laughs> Thank you guys in the staging department. We did have someone ask that. Really? Are our yeah. lilies jumping from plant to plant or do they come with the trailers? So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so these guys are doing a wonderful job. We do appreciate everything. It does they look do. good every time we walk every in. Every single with time. It. Yeah. And we do literally none of it. And uh, that's hats off to those guys. So, really cool thing that's going on here on the um, this is the Versa Lounge. Okay. Okay. And basically, you know, I got to like get myself worked in here because this is a process to do. This guy is going to fold out. Okay, guys, first and foremost. So, you do have one bed here. You could fold this one down into a bed. Now you have two separate beds. All right. They call it a Versa Lounge for a reason because it is very versatile. You can do a bunch of different things with it. This back pops off. All right, guys. Now you can see how big your store or how big your area is here. Right. So let's just say we leave this off. We drop this one down, and we drop this bed down. Now we have a whole slide out full of you know sleeping areas. Right. Well, let's just say you want to swing this around and go chase lounge now instead of the other way. Okay. So this would essentially sit like so. This part would come up. Wow. And now we have a chase lounge. You know, that is going to switch around. But yeah. regardless, you get the picture. I mean, uh -huh. the Versa Lounge has been one of the coolest things that Rock or that Wildwood has done at this point. 
Um, we have storage under each and every part of the Versa Lounge. Really cool setup, though, man. I'm out of breath at this point. I feel like I yeah, need to turn no, it over to good. you. Well, turn it over to me just, just so I can give a preview of what's coming up. we got a motor uh, motor coach coming up here very Perfect. soon. Motor home coming up. Uh, got a lot of people asking for this. Yeah. yeah. And they're cool. I mean, they're, they're... Super cool. They're very cool. Super cool. I mean, I haven't seen anything that's not cool yet, but... Well, you yeah, say so everyone we stepped in is super cool, so... Yes. <laughs> but as we come around here, guys, bathroom on this side right here. Kind of open the door for that's you guys. we were right back outside. I didn't look at the... That's. I mean, that's a decent-sized shower, too. Correct. Yep, decent-sized shower. And again, it's nice that this isn't just a half bath here, because if you come in from being muddy all day, playing Correct. out, getting sand, you jump right in the shower. Correct. You don't have to walk through. Absolutely. To find... Uh, and then the bathroom um, that has the shower this is going to be basically your back bunk room okay so you're talking about this bunk does go up uh -huh. this couch does fold down we do have storage up top here or another bunk if need be yep. and obviously you do have plenty of room here as well if you didn't want to put a blow-up mattress little tv for the kiddos back here and storage back here as well yep. so super cool convenient on how it goes um, windows all across the back in case you do need to get out for whatever reason um, but we do want to make sure that you understand that you are safe um, as that you know goes. what? That's something we haven't mentioned about or mentioned in either month that we've done this. Uh huh. Is it? It's possible to get out of those windows if you need to get out of Absolutely. this thing. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. That's something I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You so it up. Uh, very, very simple and easy to get out. Of. Actually, the window pushes out completely. Okay. Um, and then at that point, the screen's a little ripcord pull screen. So, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool in terms of how that works. Um, fireplace on this guy. We don't bring it in with the TV. A lot of people ask that. Um, this is obviously um, kind of all of the features that you can have on this particular camper, okay? That rock, that Wildwood throws in on every single one of their camper. This whole thing here fits up to a 55-inch TV. We already talked about the uh, Versa Lounge style. You can see how big those windows are. I mean, we don't have that beautiful scenery like these guys do over here, but nonetheless, um, you can see how big those windows are. Slide-out awning preps. You'd have the AM, FM radio, inside, outside, Bluetooth. Um, fireplace, you know, storage on both sides. Little cup that doesn't come with it, but nonetheless. <laughs> and then as we swing in here, guys, just showing the inside of here, we do have um, two. Uh, we do have two little um, spots where a lot of people put like the CPAP hey, Lane, machines. Let me uh -huh. interrupt you for a second. Yes, please go. First off, Kim wanted to know what your name was. I told her it was Lane, so now she knows. Uh, Thanks, Kim. Couple one 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 gal asked about the weight of this one. Okay. Do you know it off the top of your head? Off the top of my head, I don't. Um, okay, I want to, so we can figure that out, though, if you call me after. Um, and who'd you say that was? That's Norma. And Norma. Norma. Norma also wants to know, uh, how does Wildwood compare to Rockwood quality? Wildwood versus Rockwood quality, guys. Um, you're talking about solid surface versus pressed wood. Um, the quality comparison's not there, but the, the price point's not there either. We're not talking about the same price point. We're not talking about the same quality point, Okay. Uh, it'd be like me trying to compare a Cadillac to a Pinto or, uh, you know, trying to compare a, a Tesla versus my little um, Chevy uh, uh, Cavalier that I used to drive when I was 16. I mean, cool. the, the two are just not comparable. They yeah. really aren't um, price point wise or either way. Anyone tries to compare them, um, you know, they, it's just a load of, load of crap. There's no yeah. reason to listen to stuff like that. But um, just kind of a heads up on that one. But um, back to this one right here, guys, um, we do have um, USB charging stations on both sides. And then, like I said, um, the the CPAP holes, so that way you know people are you know are using CPAPs as they're camping. Obviously, they don't want to you know pass out or have any kind of injury while they're sleeping. So um, they do are able to go with the CPAPs as well as storage up over top and storage up underneath the bed. Okay. Another cool thing that not a lot of people think about is the fact that Wildwood has the gas struts on this. Okay. Uh -huh. Most campers in their price point don't have these gas struts. Okay. Right? So. When you're sitting here trying to pick the bed up, you got the whole weight of the bed. You don't have any of the gas struts trying to pick it up or anything like that. And then Wildwood comes Yeah, these are nice. Storage. I mean, we have some of these in, in the closet at our house. These are just nice oh, to yeah. have. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, is, you know, when, you know, we, I'll show you out here. There's an extra storage compartments out here um, that not a lot of people think about. When it's time to go camping, the biggest, most stressful part about it, and I can, you know, call my wife or just call me and I'll tell you what my wife says, but... Regardless, she tells me all the time, the most stressful part about camping is the preparation. So uh -huh. um, this is as simple as it is with these guys. You take this bin, I'm handing it to my son and telling him, hey, your mom put all your clothes, all your tools, all your you know toys, shoes, everything on your bed, go throw them in here and bring them back out. Yeah. And as I'm going through the camper, loading up everything else, now I have all the rest of this, I throw it in here, I shut it up and I'm done. Yeah, now I'm packed and the kids are packed and I don't have to worry about 
who's got what, where is, where is what, and who lost what. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like I said, the biggest stressful thing about camping is the packing. Yeah. So yeah. if you can uh, help uh, make that go quicker, obviously that's a better yeah, scenario. That's actually a brilliant idea. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, like I said, so Wildwood is very good for the fact that they put a lot of things in a camper that is going to keep the price point down, mm -hmm. but compared to everybody else, they don't have it. Okay, right. so basically, um, to sum that up, in other words, uh, comparing it to everything else, they take campers and options from high up and bring them back down to these guys. All right, residential sprayer, extra storage, fireplace, big TV, Versa lounge, large uh, refrigerator. I mean, I can go on and on yeah. standing inside this thing, but nonetheless, that kind of gives you an idea of what is cool about Wildwood and why they're so cool and what they do. What's the price on this one? Price point on this guy, you want to take a guess? I'm going to guess way high. Because I want to say, I <laughs> I know I'm wrong. I know it's going to be way lower than this, but I would say thirty five thousand. Thirty five. So basically, price is twenty three two forty seven. Wow. Competitors, you're pretty close. Uh, forty thousand one twenty. So wow. You're close. You're close. Okay. And we'll you're talking about uh, what, what did that say here? Let's see. That's a sandpiper, which we're going into next. Two ten. Two ten. Two hundred ten dollars a month. Two ten. So That's great. Kind of cool to have that set up. Yeah. That does. That's very cool. I want to give something away. 